you've been told aging is unstoppable, that after 50, your body simply slows down. But what if that isn't true? What if deep inside every one of your cells, there's a hidden switch, one that decides whether you age or stay young? In 2018, researchers at Harvard Medical School uncovered something extraordinary. When a tiny enzyme called AMPK shuts down, your body's energy factories, the mitochondria, go dark. They found that people over 55 with low AMPK activity had triple the cellular aging rate compared to those with normal levels. Think of it like your home circuit breaker. One small switch turns off and suddenly the whole house loses power. That's what happens inside your body. Your energy fades, your muscles weaken, and your joints stiffen. All because that hidden switch is off. I saw this with my father, 76. He was sharp and active until one winter he said, I just feel like something inside me has shut down. Blood tests looked normal. But a 2020 study from Stanford University revealed that 78% of adults over 55 show silent inflammation, even when all lab numbers seem fine. It's like having termites in your house, quiet, invisible, but slowly eating the structure from within. So if you've felt tired lately or your knees ache for no reason, it might not be just age. It might be that your body's master switch has gone dark. In the next few minutes, you'll see how Japanese scientists discovered a simple nightly movement, just five minutes, that can reactivate this hidden switch. No supplements, no gym, just science. The slow collapse you don't feel coming. You might not feel it yet, but right now, Millions of people over 50 are living with what scientists call cellular collapse. It doesn't start with pain, it starts with silence. A 2020 report from Stanford University's Department of Immunology found that four out of five adults over 55 show signs of silent inflammation even when all their lab numbers look perfect. That inflammation works like a slow fire burning your cells from the inside. You don't see it, you don't hear it, but one morning you wake up and your knees ache, your mind fogs, your energy fades, and you call it getting older. It isn't. It's the body's repair crew being locked out. In 2021, researchers at Cambridge University discovered that when inflammation blocks AMPK, that same energy switch from earlier, the body stops recycling damaged cells. Within weeks, mitochondria weaken by up to 60%, slowing metabolism, memory, and joint lubrication. Think of it like a city where the garbage truck stopped running, the waste piles up, and soon everything starts to smell, creak, and decay. I saw this with one of my patients, Linda, 58, a primary school teacher. She walked two miles every morning, never smoked, always ate healthy. But when we ran her inflammation scan, it lit up red, liver, knees, even her heart lining. She looked at me and whispered, how could this happen? I did everything right. That's the terrifying part. You can be doing everything the world told you, walking, dieting, taking supplements, and still your body is silently shutting down. But here's where the story turns. Because in the last few years, scientists in Japan uncovered a strange, almost backward finding a way to reverse this cellular collapse, not with more effort, but with less. And it all begins at night. The reversal signal they almost missed. Just when it seemed that aging was an irreversible slide, a group of scientists in Japan made a discovery so strange it almost didn't make sense at first. 
In 2021, researchers from the University of Tokyo's Department of Cellular Metabolism found something hidden in plain sight. Certain micro-movements done before bed could reactivate AMPK, the very energy switch we thought was lost after 50. Not pills, not injections, just five minutes of specific, gentle motions. In their study, adults aged 60 to 75 who performed these nightly movements for four weeks showed a 42% increase in cellular energy activity and a 31% drop in inflammation markers. One of the lead scientists said the body remembers movement even when the mind has forgotten. That line struck me deeply because it reminded me of my father, the man who once said he felt something shut down inside him. When I taught him one of these nightly movements, he laughed, saying, you really think this little motion can fix my body? But within 10 days, his hands stopped trembling. Within three weeks, he was sleeping through the night again. And one morning, he called me and said, it feels like someone turned me back on. Think of your cells like batteries. They don't die, they just forget how to recharge. And sometimes, the charger isn't a drug or a supplement. It's your own movement, paired with oxygen and rhythm. A follow-up 2022 study from Kyoto University's Longevity Lab confirmed it. Combining light joint motions with slow breathing before bed boosted circulation by 18% and reduced stiffness in older adults by 27% after two weeks. No gym, no strain, just a quiet biological reboot. In the next few moments, you'll see exactly how this five-minute nightly reboot works and why thousands of seniors across Japan are waking up feeling 10 years younger without changing their diet or even breaking a sweat. The seven-day reboot that changes everything. When my father told me it feels like someone turned me back on, I knew something profound had happened. Not a miracle, a mechanism. The same biological switch that powers youth had quietly come alive again. And here's the most beautiful part. It doesn't take months or complicated routines. It takes seven days. Seven days to remind your body how to heal itself. Day one to two, reawakening the system. In the first 48 hours, your goal isn't exercise, it's reconnection. A 2019 study from Kyoto University's Department of Movement Science found that micro-movements, small rhythmic joint rotations, can increase circulation by 18% and stimulate synovial fluid release, which keeps joints smooth and hydrated. Think of your joints like hinges on an old wooden door. They creak not because they're broken, but because they've gone dry. Every night before bed, you simply repeat three gentle motions. Seated ankle circles, slow, steady, ten times each. Wrist rolls with deep breathing. Gentle shoulder openings, like drawing wings behind you. These activate muscle fibers around the joints, improving oxygen delivery and restoring motion. By day two, most people feel subtle shifts, Lighter steps, warmer hands, deeper sleep. Linda, my 58-year-old teacher patient, texted me after the second night. I can't explain it, but my knees feel quiet. No crackling. It's like they're remembering how to move. That's the sound of your cells waking up. Day 3 to 5, recharging the cells. Now, once movement starts, the body's energy centers, mitochondria, begin to respond. A 2022 Harvard Sleep Lab report found that deep sleep between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. triggers the highest AMPK activation levels, leading to a 24% improvement in cellular repair overnight. So during these days, the focus is restoration through rhythm. Sleep before 11 p.m., it's when your cell repair window opens. 
Pair your nightly motions with slow nasal breathing, five seconds in, five seconds out. Drink a cup of warm green tea or turmeric-infused water one hour before bed, both shown by Tokyo Nutrition Institute 2020 to boost AMPK and reduce inflammation markers by 33%. This combination, movement, oxygen, and rest, acts like plugging your cells into a charger they had forgotten existed. John, 62, who once could barely climb stairs, told me after five days, it's not that I feel younger, I just feel alive again, like my body's finally working with me, not against me. Day six to seven, rebuilding strength and mind. By now, your body remembers what energy feels like and your mind starts to catch up. A fascinating 2023 Yale neuroscience study found that gentle physical movement paired with deep breathing increases neuroplasticity by up to 32%, helping the brain form new positive habits faster. So on these days, we introduce the final phase, conscious movement. You move not for fitness, but for communication, to remind your body it's safe, capable, and alive. A simple morning ritual. Stand tall. Lift your arms slowly above your head. Breathe in. Lower them as you exhale. Do this five times. It sounds simple, almost silly, but remember, the science is clear. Small rhythmic motions retrain your cellular timing systems. They tell your brain, we're not dying, we're repairing. By day seven, people often report clearer thoughts, warmer joints, and a profound calm. Linda told me, tears in her eyes, I can finally sit on the floor and stand up without my hands. I haven't done that in 15 years. Her lab tests showed a 28% drop in C-reactive protein, a key inflammation marker. No pills, no diets, just seven days of teaching her body how to remember youth. The deeper meaning. The truth is, your body never forgets how to heal. It just forgets that it can. Modern life, stress, sleeplessness, and fear dim that switch. But science is showing what ancient cultures always knew. Movement is medicine. Rhythm is repair. Stillness is strength. When you move with awareness, you're not exercising. You're whispering to your cells. Wake up. You still have time. And now, if you've come this far, you've seen the proof. The question isn't, can it work? It's, will you turn the switch back on? Because in the final moments, I'll show you how to keep this new energy alive, not just for seven days, but for the rest of your life. Most people spend their later years waiting, waiting for the next pill, the next doctor, the next explanation for why they feel older than they should. But what if aging wasn't something happening to you, but something waiting for you to wake it up? Science has shown us your body was never designed to decay. It was designed to repair. And inside you right now is a switch that can turn that repair system back on. In 2023, the National Institute on Aging, U.S., released a landmark paper showing that activating AMPK, that same hidden switch, can reduce biological aging markers by up to 36% in just eight weeks. Not through drugs, not through surgery, but through natural triggers, movement, oxygen, rhythm, and rest. You've seen it in my father, who went from trembling hands to strong, steady mornings. You've seen it in Linda, who now sits cross-legged on her classroom floor, laughing with her students again. And in John, who told me he finally feels alive in his own skin. These aren't miracles, they're reactivations. Because once that cellular switch is flipped, the body doesn't need to be convinced, it remembers. It remembers how to heal, how to move, 
how to live. So tonight, when you turn off the lights, pause for a moment. Feel your heartbeat, steady, patient, alive. That rhythm is your body whispering, I'm still here. Aging isn't the end of vitality. It's the body waiting for you to remember how to live inside it again. Move gently. Breathe deeply. Trust the quiet work your cells are doing for you. Because the moment you begin, even with one small motion, you're not fighting age. You're flipping the switch back on. And that's where your new chapter begins.